The question 18 is to find terms for different types of sequences. Here you can see you have to find the specified term for the sequence. The fourth term is what they want. Now you, you can see the first term is given as phi, a1 is given. And you can see there's a formula which is mentioned over here. The formula is a n equals minus 3 a n minus 1 plus t 10. And n must be greater than or equal to 2. Now looking at this, you can see a n is at the left side, right? But the right side, there is a n minus 1. And n is greater than or equal to 2. That means you can't start a1. You can't find a1 from this. No, it's not possible. You can only start finding a2. But at the right side, 2 minus 1 will be 1. So imagine you want to find the fourth term. What happens here? A4 minus 1 will be 3. So here, to find the next term or any term, you need to know the previous term. 1, n minus 1, the previous term. To find 2, you should know one term, a1. To find 4, you need to know a3. So a1 is given. Now you can find a2. Then this over here will be substituted, that will be phi and so on. So this type of sequence is called recursive formula, recursive type. Why? Because you need to know the previous one to find it. Now there might be some other type of forms, say a n plus 3 directly. This is called explicit. Explicit basically means, uh, now we are sorry, it will be a1 like this, a1 or a2, they will mention one thing. You do not need to know the previous term. There is no n over here. These are called explicit. They are very straightforward. Uh, I mean, the formula will be different, but you can directly substitute the n value and find it explicit. But recursive is the one which you need the previous form, previous term. Now, let's solve this up. Here, let me start with 2. So, here the formula becomes a2 minus 1 plus 10. Since you are to do it in writing exam, write this. So we find a2, to find a2, okay, to find a2. Now this is the formula substitute, minus 3 times, what is a1? You can directly put 5, it's a2 minus 1 is a1, that's 5 plus 10, the answer is negative 15 plus 10, it's minus 5. Now find a3, it'll be negative 3, and over here it'll be a2 plus 10, substitute. It will be five, now minus 5 here plus 10. That is negative, uh, negative and negative becomes positive. 15 plus 10, it's 25. And now for A4, that is the fourth term. This is what we had to solve. It will be minus 3 times A3 plus 10. And we need to substitute the previous term's value. 25 plus 10 and now that is 75 but it's minus 75 plus 10 will be minus 65. So this is the answer and over here we are to find all the terms and we got the final A4 as minus 65. So this is a very very simple topic. All we do is the same thing in all the problems. Over here you are to find the seventh term but since it's a recursive formula, so it's a recursive one, here you need to find a1, a1 is given, sorry, a2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then you can find 7, so a1, a2 half, just substitute over here instead of n as 2, and it'll be a1, and substitute the value of a1, that's 14, put in the calculator, you get it, then a3, a4, a5, a6, a7 is 6.125, so this is how we do it. Now, same thing again, this is a recursive. Whenever you see n minus 1, it will be a recursive. Now, the first term is given over here, but if you're thinking what's happening exactly over here, it's very simple. a n, this 3 is equal to 3. You know, we used to write that a n minus 1, right? That is to the power a n minus 1. So now, if I want to solve for the a2 value, it will be 3 a1 because 2 minus 1 is 1. Now, it will be a2, 3 to the power how much? 0. And anything to the power 0 is 1. Now to find a3 over here, what you do is 3 to the power a2. What is a2? It's 1. I'm directly doing it, but in exam, write this formula. a3 is equal to 3 a to the power 2 and so on and so forth. So now here it is 3 to the power 1, isn't it? What is 3 to the power 1? It's 3. Now a4 is equal to 3 to the power 3 
and that is 27. So that is the answer which we require, it's 27. That's it. And last problem of this particular topic, doesn't matter, it looks big one, it's the same thing, let's do it. It's just that the terms are squared and all, but it's the same concept, just the third term is required. So let's first find the second term. We know the A1. Without this, we cannot solve it. This will be given in the question. So it will be 2 minus 1 is A1, the whole squared, minus 5, A1 again, plus 4. Now here, A1 is basically 3 squared minus 5 times 3 plus 4. And over here, 3 squared is 9 minus 15. So it will be minus 6 plus 4 will be minus 2. Now same thing with A3. That's the third term we are solving for. It will be A2 the whole squared minus 5 times A2 plus 4. And what happens is it's minus 2 the whole squared minus 5 times minus 2 plus 4. Now remember the minus 2 is inside the bracket. So it will be 2 squared 4 and it will be positive. Minus and minus will be positive. It's basically minus time 2 times minus 2, right? It will be positive 4. And minus and minus plus 10 plus 4. The answer is 18. So that is how we solve this. Minus 2 and positive 18. A very easy writing topic and that's the end of this question. Please try practicing problem. Don't spend much time on this. It's an easy one. Spend more time on the difficult ones. Thoroughly write everything in detail. Don't miss out anything because each writing step has marks. I'll see you all in the next video.